Most of us have played games such as this one, whereby we're controlling our players with arrow keys. Wouldn't it be cool if we could program our sprites in Scratch to do the same thing? Then we could make our own interactive animations or games. Well, in fact, we can. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your sprite move up, down, left and right with the keyboard. First, bring up the motion palette and grab the move block. The move block should be familiar to us by now. It simply makes your sprite move like this. But what do we do if we want our sprite to move in a different direction? Well, we'll have to first change the direction he is facing. And we could do that by grabbing the pointing direction block. Click on the drop down menu and you will see directions for right, left, up, and down. Choose up and click on the block. Now our sprite is pointing up. And now when you move your sprite, he will be moving upwards. Let's also make our sprite move down. Grab a new point in direction block. Open the drop down menu and choose down. Now when you click on the block, your sprite will face down. Notice that the blue line on the small icon of your sprite will also point down. In fact, the blue line will always indicate the direction that your sprite is pointing in. So if you click on up again, the blue line will point up. But let's have our sprite point down. And now when you click on the move block, our sprite will move in that direction. Let's snap the pointing direction down and move block together. When you click on the script, the program will point then move your sprite down. And if we grab another move block and snap it in with the pointing direction up block, our sprite will also point then move up. But we are still using the mouse to click on the script. Let's see if we could use the keyboard instead. Choose the control button and grab the block when space key pressed. Snap it in and press the space bar. Now your sprite will move up. So the block, when key pressed, is essentially saying that when a key is pressed, which in this case is the space bar, run the script attached to it. Open up the drop down menu. As you can see, there are many keys to choose from. Select the up arrow key. Now press the up arrow on your keyboard and your sprite will move up. Let's also top off this down script with the block when key pressed. Open up the drop down menu. Choose the down arrow key. Now when you press on the up or down arrows, your sprite will move in those directions. Next, Let's also create the scripts to control for left and right movements. But instead of dragging over new blocks, we can simply duplicate one of these scripts. Because the left and right control scripts will also use the same logic of first pointing in a particular direction, then moving. Right click on the script and choose duplicate. Now you have a copy of the script. To create a right control, simply change the key to right arrow and direction to right. Let's make another duplication. Once again, don't forget to change the key to left arrow with pointing direction set to left. Now test out your new program. Your sprite should move up, down, right, and left, depending on which arrow key you are pressing. Congratulations! You've programmed your sprite to move with arrow keys. Now you can use these scripts to create all sorts of games or animation that require moving the sprite with the keyboard. For example, I'm thinking of creating a ghost story. Go to Costumes, so click on Import, then the Costumes button, and open up the Fantasy folder. 
scroll down and click on Ghost 1. Our sprite should be wearing his ghost costume. If not, just make sure the Ghost 1 costume is highlighted. Let's also change the background. Choose the stage sprite. Select the background tab and click on import. Click on the background button and open up the nature folder. Select the woods background. Press on your arrow keys again. See, I have the beginnings of a haunted ghost story. Now, see what kind of games or stories you can create with your new keyboard control scripts.